When we last left off, Jesus had been crucified. The spear is supposed to represent Jesus getting pierced in the sides after being crucified. This is linen cloth, and this reminds me of Joseph wanted a baby Jesus, right? And so he um, wrapped Jesus in linen cloth, and then he buried Jesus in a tomb. Open it up. The stone. What did they do with it? Stone. It's closer. Mm. A tomb. <gasps> it's empty. Dad. Dad, tomb. Yeah, it's empty. Just like the tomb. After being on the cross for a while, Roman soldiers wanted to make sure Jesus had passed away. So as Logan told us, they took a spear and they stabbed it into his side to make sure that he was passed away. After he had died, the disciples went to the Roman soldiers and asked if they could have Jesus' body. Because as Ellie told us, they wanted to wrap his body in linen and clean him and bury him as was their custom. So that's what they did. They took Jesus' body, they cleaned it, and they wrapped it in linen, and they put him inside a tomb. And a tomb is a big, empty place, sort of like a grave. And they took it and put him in the tomb, and as Adam tells us, they took a big, heavy rock, and they put it in front of the opening of the tomb because they didn't want anyone to be able to steal Jesus' body. So they rolled this big, heavy rock in front of the tomb to protect his body. Three days later, they were getting ready to go and check the tomb and make sure everything was still okay. And Mary came running down the path to them to tell them that the tomb was empty. The stone had been rolled away. They ran down the path and they found that in fact, the tomb was empty. That while Jesus died on the cross to save us from our sins, three days later, he rose again. And this is why we celebrate Easter today.